Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be just a real quick tutorial video to answer a question I get asked pretty frequently, and that question is, what CPU is in my Chromebook? I'm gonna be showing you three different methods to use tools that are native to Chrome OS, and one uses an app that's available in the Chrome Web Store. I'm showing you three methods because anytime I do a, a Chrome video, there's always something that doesn't work on some particular Chromebook, so by showing you three methods, one of them should work for you. If you like tutorials like this, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get notified when I put up a new one. And with that out of the way, let's jump onto the computer. Here we are on the desktop of one of my Chromebooks. This one happens to be an Intel i3 based processor. I also have an ARM based processor and an Intel Celeron Chromebook that I'll show you those as well, but the process is exactly the same. So I'm just gonna show you the process on this one and then I'll bring in screenshots from those other ones when we get to the information so you can see what it looks like for those different architectures. The first thing I'm gonna show you is using an application from the Chrome Web Store and that is called COG. So we're just gonna go out to the Web Store and every single Chromebook should have access to this. So this first method should work for just about everybody. We're gonna look for COG and then click on the apps icon here and it's this COG system info viewer. Just click on that, add to Chrome, super quick. It'll just take a few seconds and then we're gonna launch app. So that brings up this window and this has the information we need. You can either look under platform and it's Linux x86-64 or architecture is x86. Basically x86 is Intel or AMD and ARM is other chip manufacturers that use that ARM based architecture. So if we bring in the ARM one now, you can see that it lists ARCH64. It's either gonna list ARCH64 or ARM64. And then bringing in the Celeron, it's similar to the i3 processor. So using COG is the easiest way to do it, but there's a couple of other ways. If you don't want to install any applications, we can just use the functionality that's built into Chrome OS. And the way we're gonna do that is just open the Chrome web app and we're going to go to Chrome colon slash slash system. Now this shows you all kinds of information about your system, pretty much everything you want to know about your hardware. I mean, there's a whole long list of stuff. The easiest way to find this information and these are the next two methods I'm going to show you because for the ARM processor, it um, it's a little bit confusing. So if we do uh, control F and then type in CPU, we can see the CPU info. And if we expand that, we can see on this machine that it's genuine Intel. It's an Intel Core i3 processor. So we know that this is x86 based. It's, uh, you know, Intel based. However, when we bring in the ARM based processor, that just gives us a architecture code and, you know, some numeric information that doesn't mean a whole lot. So that's a little bit more difficult to decipher, which is why I'm going to show you this next option. And that is again within Chrome system, but this time we're going to search for uname. Now, this is one thing that some people have reported me it wasn't available on all Chromebooks. So that's why I'm showing you multiple methods. But here you can see on this machine, it lists the Intel Core i3 processor again, similar to that, you know, the CPU info setting. But when we bring in the ARM processor, this one shows that ARCH64 that we saw when we were using the COG application. So again, that's either going to say ARCH64 or ARM64 if it's an ARM based processor. But this one makes it a little more clear that we're using an ARM based processor. I'm not sure why the CPU info doesn't give you all the, the info that it does for the Intel processor, but um, that's why I wanted to show you multiple methods. Now, hopefully you found this useful or informative. If you have any questions at all or comments, leave those down in the comment section below. If you did find this useful or informative, please hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so. I'll be putting out a bunch of tutorials and other Chromebook related videos are coming up very shortly. Thanks for stopping by.